Oh, what's up guys and how is everybody doing out there? You know what guys, I want to share this with you because people always ask me when I do a moto vlog, what am I using? What kind of equipment am I using? Uh, what are your settings at? Uh, so you know what, let me share that with you real quick because yes, this is a moto vlog. You guys are getting ready to see a moto vlog. So let me show you. Of course, we got the Mad Max. All right, what am I using? My helmet cam, here's my helmet cam. Just a simple GoPro 10, all right? I'll let you know all the settings on all the cameras at the end of the video. Uh, I have a mount right here on the back if I'm gonna do a back mount uh, and a view from behind, I got this mount. We're not doing that on this video. I've got my DJI Action 2 camera here and I plug in my Rode two wireless go to road microphones into the DJI action to camera uh, where do I put the transmitter I just tuck that right up underneath my chin or I tuck it right beside my cheek under my helmet I found that to be the best place to stick it and this moto vlog we are going with a front GoPro 8 on the front there on the front uh, front fender we'll see what that looks like this this go around uh, but there it is that is my that is my typical setup uh, what do I turn everything on my helmet camera my camera my my helmet camera my my uh, GoPro 10 and the DJI Action 2 camera, it's all set at 1080, 60, uh, linear. In other words, linear, it's not wide, it's not narrow, it's linear, it seems to be the decent setting. Like I said, 1080, 60. Uh, the GoPro 8 down on the fender, this time I set it at 1080, 60, narrow. So, there it is, you guys ask. Um, that's my setup, so enjoy the moto vlog. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> Let me clear my throat. Ba -na 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 -na. Have mercy, baby. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. Taking a. We're gonna do a little video today, a little moto vlog. If you notice, I've been gone for about a week under the weather. I mean, literally in bed, no energy, uh, no appetite. I probably slept first when I first started feeling terrible. Probably, probably three days of just sleeping nonstop. Uh, just zero energy. Had an appetite. Had a ran a fever for a couple of days. You know, uh, my buddy, who is a retired military army medic, came over. I actually broke out in a real bad rash. So whatever was in my body, I was fighting to get out, and it came out in a rash. Uh, he gave me some medication. My military buddy who uh, gave me the diagno diagnos diagnosis <laughs> gave me some medication taking medication now for the past couple of days. I finally today felt like, all right, let's go out and uh, try to accomplish something. I still don't feel 100%. You know, you, you being a diabetic, you always got to watch too. Uh, you know, you got to look at the side effects from the medication you're checking, that you're taking. Uh, So yeah, that's what's been going on. I know somebody's gonna say, well, what was it? What was it that made you sick? What was it that gave you the rash? Well, 
don't know. Don't know. I, I didn't go to a clinic and uh, do some blood work or anything like that. People are going to say, well, Philly, you're stupid. You should. Uh, all right. Remember my life, my body, right? What is it? My body. No, I didn't forget. What was that commercial where the people were saying? No, my life, my decision. I, if things would have gotten worse, yeah, okay. Well, Philly, you shouldn't play around with your health. Okay, remember my life, okay. People would get along a lot better in the Philippines, all right. And, and I'm guilty of this, all right. If people would just remember, okay, it's your life. Do you? Do you? But I'm guilty. I have even fallen into that trap of, you know, criticizing this, criticizing that. This person should do this. This person should. I'm guilty of that too. All right. What have I learned in the past week? You know what? Margarita 2.0, parking lot's empty. Uh, what have I learned in the past week being sick? You know what, guys? I didn't even turn on my computer to turn on. For a week. Uh, yes, I did have my cell phone on, but I didn't even really go on my cell phone much. I got to get around this guy. I will get around him then. Uh, I don't. I don't like looking at the back of trucks and stuff driving down the road, especially on a motorbike. Uh, even you guys, I don't want to give you the back end view of a. Let's get around this. Jump on like a jump in like a jump. There you go. Uh, what did I learn? I think, th here's, here's a little bit of advice, all right? For all vloggers out there, even in the Philippines, all right? Now granted, you're gonna have the ones that, all they are, all, all their channel is all about is drama and digging up information on other people and going after belittling attacking vloggers that's fine you know that's just that's your stick that's fine uh, my advice to vloggers out there and I've kind of learned this this week and I should have learned it quicker stop watching other vloggers Koreatown uh, Friendship Highway let's just roll down through here I don't know the last time I was down through here. I'm done rant, done rambling. Like I said, life is too, I can't, life is too, uh, I, I'm enjoying life. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying life. A lot of construction, there's always newer, always some type of construction going on down through here. I've never once came down here and ate in any of these uh, restaurants down through here. fancy market right there. These days I gotta come down here and see what the difference is when you go into a Korean grocery store and a normal grocery store. See like that. Stellar Live Pub. I don't go out. Me and Luke don't go out in the evenings. We just don't. I gotta understand some. A lot of people that are going out, a lot of other people that are around here, they don't have like kids. Well, they, they may, but you, you know what I'm saying. Like a lot that I know, they don't have kids or anything like that. Uh, they can sleep till 9, 10 o'clock. Uh, they can go out late at night, sleep in. Like that's just not me. Uh, especially moving down to the province, you know, because. Eight nine o'clock at night, Robin shuts down. Don't cut. You know, it wakes up at five o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. This area here, if I'm not mistaken, this is the area where they had that, where they were pushing those people out. Uh, the rights, the police came in and tried to push all them people out with force. To the left or to the right? I think it's. I was back in there at one time. Uh, all this here has grown up so much 
since uh, we've since I've moved here. Four lane highway down through here. Now it used to only be two lane. Uh, more restaurants, uh, gas stations. We're just driving. You know, they, they put in, I think it's to the left here. Back in, whoops, slow down, slow down, slow down. Back into there. Uh, I think they, uh, that's where they're building, if I'm not mistaken, that's where they're building the, uh, uh, like an arena. Like all this here is, within, let's put it this way, within 10 years. Good for the growth. Tebow Triangle, I don't know what that is. Traffic used to get real bad over here because of the fact it was one lane on either side of the road. Even I'm looking. Cafe and resto up there. MG Motors. Let's see, can I? Yes, I can. To the right would be T Moog. Moog residency, that's where all the big ballers are. The big ballers, all up in T Moog. <laughs> like that McDonald's there, I remember when they built it. Now, if I turn left here, this will take me all the way down into Hensonville. We're not going to go left, we're going to go straight. Come on, people. Hotel, Havia, Havia Hotel. I always think that's pretty nice looking that entrance there. Plaza Grand, what is that? Grand Royale Plaza. It's pretty cool looking back in there. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. <laughs> Resto 252, Cafe and Kitchen. I know there's a big uh, coffee place type down here. Down on their motorbike. Uh, factory outlet. New going in there. I don't know what that is over there. Korean surplus, car wash, coffee bay. If you look, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a lot of Korean writing on all these buildings. I always thought this was neat through here, how the acacia trees, you know, engulf the road here, the nice shaded. Mm, burning leaves always smells good. <laughs> the Clover Hotel. Down here is where this construction is. Uh, I'm not mistaken, it's, it's, it's an overpass to this uh, intersection down here. At least that's what I was told. Maybe somebody can correct me. Uh, 
please correct me. Oh, they got traffic going this way. Ugh. That's nice. <laughs> Freaking bug down my throat. The traffic is going this way. Ugh. Yeah, supposedly it's the overpass. Down here is the intersection that just gets so backed up and busy. Uh, but uh, maybe they, you know, from what I'm told, this is the new intersect or the new overpass. This is not the railway. This is part of the road system. No parking under the bridge. I actually had to specify. Because you know people would just park under the bridge. This is nice, huh? This is done. See, now if you make a left right here, that'll take you to Porak. Or I'm sorry, a right. If you make a right here, it'll take you to Porak. Porak. That'll take you in the back way into uh, Subic Bay. Uh, but we're going to take a left here. So yeah, right takes you to Porok and out that way. A left will take you right into downtown Angley City. That's where we're going to go, right? We're just out riding, killing some time, getting some... Oh, it's not fresh air. You know, I, you know, when I move into the province, yes, it'll be fresh air. Uh, we're, uh, I'm just out riding, getting visual stimulation, all right? Yeah, this is going to be nice when they uh, complete this here. I got a traffic guy up there now. They did have a traffic light here. But now they got a traffic guard here to control the traffic. Yeah, this will take us. Look at it. Come on, buddy. Went from the right lane to the left lane. Uh, this will take us to the center city. St. Catherine of Alexandra? I didn't even know there was a hospital there. My old saying, all roads lead to Rome. Well, all roads lead to Center City, Angley City. <laughs> <clears throat> How do you know your way around? I just drive. Where's this road go? Where's that road go? Where's this road go? You just drive. And uh, that's how you figure out your way around this city. Place back in there, yeah. It's a two one seven, close to the two one five. Philly two one five. Right, slow down. going on over there. Invest in new possibilities. It says uh, community. Live in Rockwell community. There you go. Oh shit, I should have went that way. Eh, well. Yeah, we can go this way. We, we can definitely go this way. Come on in, buddy, with your uh, no helmet on. See, now we're, we're coming into Center City, Angley City. Uh, you'll see where I'm at here in a little bit. That all roads lead to Center City, Angley City. We're on 20 minutes, guys. I'm just rolling, rolling and riding. 
I remember when uh, the lockdown happened. I could do this loop that I done, that I have done now. Well, not complete it, but the whole loop, 20 minutes. When we had our store, from our store, all the way around this, what I call this loop around AC uh, in 20 minutes. <laughs> not now. All right, let's do some dodging and weaving and bobbing and hip hopping and all the other fun stuff. This is where you're, this is where you guys get a heart attack. Watching the driving. Oh, look at that. Turn right here. Make sure nobody's behind me. We're going to turn left right here. Squeeze in between everybody here. Get around Mr. Rabbit. Make sure the Jeep be, Jeep be beside me. Don't clip me. And we're going to turn left. To the right is Depot Mall back in that way. But we're going to turn down this way. I've gone down this way. Look at everybody on your bicycle. <laughs> yes, that one was close, that bicycle. I could have reached out and touched him. <laughs> uh, I've walked this here many times. When I come up and walk around the city, this area right here is where I like to walk. So this, this looks familiar. Well, this looks familiar. Oh, pay an electric bill or water bill. One of them, that's what that line is for on a Monday. Sorry, but I won't wait in a line like that. I just won't. Filipinos don't mind. They don't mind. And, and if I'm not mistaken, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe And maybe that's why the line is. I thought you could pay that like at 7-Eleven or Gcash or whatever. Like, so if I pay Gcash, Gcash, if you're not familiar with what Gcash is, Gcash is a system here that I go to 7-Eleven, I take my money in there, I put it on my Gcash account, which is an app you download and it stores your money. And off of the Gcash, you can pay electric bill, water bills, cable bills, all the other fun things. Uh, what Gcash may take a small, small percent of, uh, you know, then charge you to pay your electric bill. It might take like five pesos, 10 pesos at the most, all right? To me, I, I, I wouldn't mind paying that five, 10 pesos, all right? Then to stand in line for two hours. My time is more important than five or 10 pesos. And those people that are standing in line, they might have hopped on a jeepney or a trike. That might have cost them five or 10 pesos, you know? They're not saving any money by going there. That's just me. That's just me. Here we are. Downtown, all right. You guys know where I'm at. You should know. And let's go up the right hand side. Alright. So now you got somebody whose little trike ran out of gas or something. There you go. All right, Irvin. Twenty-four minutes. Oh, I watch I don't scoot over to him. You always got to look around, man. Don't come right up your right hand side. And I got a guy in a little white click right there. Zip right up the side. Those things. He trikes. E-trikes. I should do a completely different video on e-trikes because the government is getting ready to put a restrictions, not a ban, a restrictions on them e-bikes. Thank God. 
Maybe I'll wait to do a video on that. That looks like that should fit paint it. Yeah, fresh paint, fresh paint. See that exhaust blowing out of there? Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. That's so good for your health. It's like I should just stick my mouth on that exhaust. Yes. Oh man, it's so good for your health. 